What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we're going to be playing another solo playthrough of Too Many Bones. This time we're playing Picket again. My tried and true. We're going to try to take on Nom. And we're doing this live on twitch.tv forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. If you're watching this on YouTube later, go on over there. Hit that follow button so you don't miss any future playthroughs. Uh, where we do some of them live, some of them we don't. But they're either, you can find them there or here on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. And I think we're all set up. I've switched out my little token on my adventure mat with this leftover pandemic legacy uh, bit, you know, after we ripped the game in pieces and threw it away after we we're done playing it for a year. Uh, but yeah, so I have this little guy and I can use that instead of the uh, normal clear-ish. I, I mean, I love this little gem, but just for video, it's, it's, it's not, not the greatest. Uh, okay, so now we got him and his die here. Let's take a look at Nom. And let's, uh, let's figure out what's going on with Nom. He's, he's in the club. He's clubbing. Clubbing with Nom. This is the uh, tyrant fight against Nom. Uh, you don't use batty points when we're playing Party of One. We ignore it. Uh, you add Nom to the batty queue. So it's like a one-on-one -on -one fight with Nom. Uh, you add one gear lock on the battle mat at a time if you're playing co-op. We don't need to worry about that part. But the key here is Nom has thick skin three. So this guy, every time you hit him, he's going to be blocking three of that damage. And he's got recover one. He only rolls one attack die, his tyrant die, and then one defense die, which isn't bad. And only has six health and goes at initiative two, so he's kind of slow. He can move diagonally, he's melee, attacks the strongest, doesn't matter in solo so much. But yeah, it's that thick skin and recovery that I am worried about. I don't know if Pickett can do it on his own, but we'll find out today, won't we? Uh, so that's him. Uh, it says the recover one, Nom gains one HP up to max at the start of his turn. And then a thick skin three, Nom ignores the first three damage he would take each turn, does not ignore true damage. But I don't have any poison kind of stuff. Unless I can find something in loot, maybe, or trove loot. Uh, and his Tyrant Die, Om Nom, is the first one there. I think it is on two sides. Uh, all defense dice are removed from target before applying damage. That can be very bad for me. Uh, and then Thunderclub, uh, after Nom's attack, knock the target to the furthest position away from its current position on the battle mat, deal one true damage. So since he's going to be knocking me around the mat and I may have to use um, Dex to move around to avoid using Dex to move around, uh, I can maybe focus on later before fighting him if we get enough training points. Uh, maybe grabbing like the Rush die or the Situational Awareness die or the Repost uh, or Switch Rush or Situational Awareness that have this rush symbol on it, this little three waves here, because anytime during your turn you move yourself three positions, also use with a second to deal three damage to an adjacent batty after rush. Yes, that won't matter so much if uh, it's used on him and I don't get any other damage through, because thick skin will just prevent that damage. But the rush itself I can use to get around the board without wasting decks, is the idea, after he knocks me around with Thunderclub. At least that's the idea but I only can use it once per dive. Those might be a waste, but we'll find out. Okay. Uh, anything else here on his card? So we have six progress points we need before fighting him. Eight days. And we've already built the baddie cues here, so we are ready to go. Okay. Uh, let's get started with special encounter. Num oh, hold on. First, before doing that, uh, we always play so far on heroic adventure mode, which is like the medium difficulty so I do take an extra health point to start, putting Picket starting at six. And I can do one other training point, which we are gonna start off with attempting attack. Let's try to train attacks. We roll our current attack stat, which is one. I did not roll a bone, so it is successful. And Picket will now have two attack die. Maybe I should have gone Dex instead. But either way, special encounter number one, we'll kind of breeze through these first three encounters. They're the same every time you play this core set. I do not have any expansions adding any new ones in. So it's the same three every time to get you ready for your adventure. So if you want to see them read out, I've done it in previous playthroughs. Uh, and lots of people have done them in their playthroughs online. Same thing over and over again. Either way, let's get down to the gist of these first ones. I'll read the other ones later. Uh, squeeze in some last minute self-improvement, two training points, or we can gain one training point and each party member draws two loot and chooses one to keep. Now, I'm gonna go with option number two, shaking down a shady peddler, and the reason why is because I hope I can get some loot that can help me improve attack, maybe get health to stay alive longer in that final fight if I can make it there, and or something with true damage, poisons or something like that um, that can help me out, or something uh, maybe um, 
There's that shield I got before that helps me roll an extra defense dice without using um, dex. And there's also, uh, I had another one, some armor that I can uptick my defense die every time I roll them so I can make ones become twos and bones become ones, which is amazing. So the training point I'm gonna use though is dexterity to three. And then let's draw two loot and choose one to keep. Come on, give me something good. All right, what do we get? Fortunate discovery. So usually I use that with picket to get a consumable and I grab my um, gobby jerky, which can be rolled and used for uh, heal. It's just, uh, you can roll it and then store it. Or not roll, sorry. You store it on your mat, then you roll it, then you can cash it in on the roll if you want to get two health, three health, or four health. And there's two chances to get four health. I think three, yeah, three chances to get three health and then only one two health. So I mean, it's usually a three health or four health is what I find, uh, which would make sense. <laughs> Uh, flare distraction single use before facing a battle encounter with BQ baddie points. Reduce it by three. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm actually going to take flare distraction. And the reason why is because of these, some of these solo ones yesterday, I actually had trouble with. It was with Tantrum though and going for Nom. There were some where I could have got two training points, but I bombed out and failed them. And I cannot fail any of these going to Nom. I need every training point I can get to help smash this guy's face. So I'm gonna take this to help tweak one in my favor when I get a little later and the days get longer, uh, or the days are later, and that means my batty Q is higher. I will use this to reduce it by three to get maybe uh, two or three less enemies on the board, maybe. Maybe not, maybe one or two, we'll see. So uh, I'll just put this on the bottom so Fortunate Discovery is gone. Uh, okay. And that's that one. I do get a progress. So I'll travel along here. And we'll get rid of that. Actually, let's just throw it under Nom just in case we gotta check it out. Okay, the next one. Uh, oh, recover phase. Let's, we don't need to heal up. Let's do a scout. Uh, so we'll roll the six sided die, get a six. So I can scout up to the 20 point Q, but I am just gonna scout the five. And I got a raiding rage to orc rager. Uh, so he is, uh, gets, when he's less than his five health, he will be attacking for an extra two die. So it's four dice to be rolling. And he then attacks melee and he also has raiding, which means when there's other orcs on the board, he gets a, another attack die, I believe, or is it for every orc, he gets another, basically it's stronger when there's more orcs on the board. So raiding is this unit gains one extra attack die for every additional orc type baddie on the battle mat. Yeah. So even worse than I thought. So we're gonna keep him on the bottom actually to reduce the chance of orcs being together in this playthrough. Okay, uh, so that is that. Uh, okay, so that's the recovery phase, on to day two. And let's see here, we got, uh, so it's the fight, the usual fight. So we can do it with BD, uh, BQ baddie points, uh, which only is day two right now, so just two baddie points with two one point baddies. And then we can have at the start of the round dealing them true damage to help us out, recommend it for first time adventurers, but we're not gonna do that. We are gonna do the extra training point, do it normal BQ baddie points, and if we lose it, we have to shuffle it, or not shuffle it, put it back on the top of the deck and do it again tomorrow. But if we win and choose this bottom one here, we can get two training points and a loot and a progress. So let's do that. Uh, all right. Okay, uh, so let's set this up. So there's our two one point baddies. And we have a careless troll youngin. So when he rolls bones, he's gonna smack himself for one. He only has four health, going at three, one attack, die, one defense. So let's, uh, four health. And he's melee, so he's going in this slot here. And I said three. The other thing I have to do before the battle actually is roll my current defense stat, which is two. And I use my shield wall innate ability to get myself some pre-defense before the battle. So I get three there. And the second baddie is an Orc Peon, Rage 1. So we'll get an extra attack die when he's less than 3 health. Hopefully I can not let him stick around long enough to use that against me too much. Uh, and he's melee also, which is great. And then he goes also at 3, but he'll go after the first guy that went at 3. Then we'll find out when I go by rolling my initiative die, which I'm 3. I can choose to go before them, which I will do. And then... 
let's try to take out the orc peon first. Okay. So throw that there. Uh, okay. I think we are good to go. Round one. I will go first. And I have three decks. I can roll two attack. I can't roll any defense because they're both locked. Um, should I take one of those dice back? Yeah. Maybe I can roll this into a one a bones or, I mean a two or a bones, something different. Uh, but it'll let me roll my three dice. Maybe I can get something better. So attacking the Orc Peon. Uh, nope, just got a one. <laughs> so it just goes back there. Uh, but I do hit for two, so now this guy's raging. So I guess those shields are a good thing to have. Uh, so he will be rolling two attack dice on his turn. And then this guy will go. He's going to move down one uh, to attack me. I'll roll one attack, one defense. And he gets a defense locked in. Hits me for one. That will just take away one shield. It's all good. Purple guy, he's raging. He is not impressed. He will roll two attack. Oh, hits for three. So two goes away on this. Uh, one, I lose. And he's mad. All right. Round two. I'll go first. Uh, so let's get that peon off the board. So I'll roll my two attack. Actually, I'll roll one attack and two defense. And I do get the one attack I need to kill him, one defense locked in, and a bones. Oops. So he's off the board. And there we go. And we'll put him in a little pile here of defeated baddies. And I don't think there's anything else I need to do there. Oh, I need to remove his die out of the initiative meter. And this guy will go. He'll just roll one attack die because he already has the defense locked. And he does hit me with one. Shield blocks it. Round three, I will attack him with two attack, and I'll roll one defense. All right, so I got a defense, and we got two attack, so it gets rid of one his shield, and hits him for one, takes him down to three. Okay, then he will go, he'll roll an attack and a defense this time. And he gets a bone, so careless one hits him, takes away one of his health down to two, and he does defend up. Okay, round four. I'll go first, and I can roll two attack, one defense, because one defense is locked, and I'll leave that there. Okay, so I got a bones, and I got two attack. Uh, which one will knock away a shield, the other one will knock away a health, leave him at one health. And then, to finish him off, I'm going to do my shield bash, because I have two bones. I will spend those two bones, and hit him for one, since I'll use the shield to bash him. Boom, oh, take away his last health, and he is off the board, done, and another defeated baddie. All right, we'll reset that counter. We'll go back home with five health out of six. Not too bad. And now let's do our reward phase. So two training points. Uh, I would like to up, let's go up the decks. And let's try for defense. Two dice. Okay, I can re-roll the bones once. Yes, I got it. All right, and that'll put me at three defense dice possible there. Okay, uh, then uh, loot. Let's see. Give me something for Nom. Stone hammer. Add four to an action die result during your lockpick attempt. Sure. And we'll toss that later. Look for try to dig for better loot. Okay, uh, and a progress point. So we're at two out of the six needed. Uh, let's go to the recovery phase. No, what's that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One loot, one... Yeah, just making sure. Okay, so let's go to the recovery phase. Uh, I don't think I'm going to heal up. I'm at five out of six, which is fine. I'm actually going to try to get better loot. So I'm going to throw away this. Roll six attack die. 
And for any bones, I can look at that many, that many loot and pick one. Uh, so I got one bones. <laughs> so let's see. Fortunate discovery. Okay. So I'll toss that away. Take gobby jerky. I think. Let me just double check orcish ale. Set your HP to one for the number of rounds. Pick me not gain or lose HP while ale is active. I'm gonna reduce it by one at the start of your turn. So it gives you kind of like a last ditch, couple turns to survive an attack, but I don't know. I, I wanna try to heal with gobby jerky. Maybe I get four heal and that can make me last longer than I, my HP is not reduced like that. So fortunate discovery is spent. Okay, uh, that is that for the recovery phase. On to day three. Okay, uh, so we can do the whole tuck your ears and walk, roll a one to two. If we do find a, hit a one or two, we're spotted, and we have to deal with that tyrant encounter I shuffled in earlier, which is not fun. Or I can hire, hire the Molnor and try to get another Trove loot. But that training point, I mean, Trove loot could be amazing though. Could be something I need, but I mean, it might be useless for this run. I'll try the one or two thing. Let's try it. Uh, so roll in a d6. Hopefully I don't get a one or a two. A three. Okay, great. Uh, so at counter success achieved, we get a pro two progress points. So we only need two more. Uh, I will get a training point. Let's go with... Uh, we'll take the stand ground now which can be rolled for some reusable bones, uh, or I can get my regen one health at the beginning of every turn, and it sits in my lock slot so it goes from battle to battle as long as I don't get KO'd and drop it. Uh, so I'll put that there for now. And this is gone. Uh, uh, recovery phase. Let's go with... Uh, should I heal? Or do I scout? Hmm. You know what? I will just heal, actually. So I'll go up to my six health. And we'll go on to day four. So let's see our first new one. Unwanted affection. The day began innocently enough. I encountered a rare Gearlock family living a quiet life in the, at the foot of a hill. Their child had been kidnapped by raiders days ago. Given our scarce population, I immediately set out on a successful rescue mission. Now I'm back and the parents are applying heavy pressure. Our little one will be safer than you, than with us. It looks like you could use a companion anyway. You could use someone to help you scavenge food and water. Truth be told, the raiders paid me to take this little Gearlock back. The gold coins they handed me came with a warning that this youngling is unlucky. So, choice, both non-combat. My skills are companions, okay, that's lame, but really, no thanks. The father is crushed and berates you for your decision, you feel bad. Reduce your HP stat, die by one. Because you got sick from feeling bad. Unlucky, huh? Does that mean it's unlucky to say no? You reluctantly agree, and you have your new buddy prepare to head out. That is, until your new best friend trips and drops your pack down a well, by accident, of course. Choose three skill dice to exhaust at the start of your next battle. Keep this card as a reminder until this effect has been fulfilled. I only have two skill dice. Uh, let's just reduce my stat die by one. That's uh, sucky. And I will go down to five health. So that was a wasted recovery there at the end of the last recovery phase. Oh, man. That was not a fun one. Uh, but I do get a training point and a progress. Okay, so training point. Hmm. I say we go for health. Done. What a waste of a day. <laughs> what a waste of a day. Okay, that is done. I picked the other one last time. Did not turn out well. <laughs> uh, okay, day five. Uh, let's see what's coming up for... Oh, hold on. Recovery phase, recovery phase. Uh, let's scout. Uh, two. So I can look at the next one point baddie. It's a hardy kobold green thumb. Attacking for one. 
not too worried about this guy. I'll leave him on top. Okay, so we know he's coming next. Uh, now day five. Now the next one. All right. Uh, trust your gut. Rarely do I get a second guess my gut, but today might be the day. An inevitable battle awaits me up ahead, but there are two distinctly different camps blocking the way. Uh, the first appears to be filled with swarms of underlings and new recruits. The second camp, though less populous, only contains burly and battle-tested foes. While I enjoy hacking and slashing my way through the countless Ebon as much as the next gear lock, uh, at some point I will run out of steam. My gut says to second guess my gut, but my gut is also very hungry and now my head hurts. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I'm a sucker for a good old hack and slash. So BQ baddie points, one points baddies only. For the first three rounds of battle, any baddies that are defeated are added to the bottom of the BQ. Oh. So I don't get any bonus for doing that one, but let's see what the second one is. I've got speed. Time for some kiting. Uh, BQ is two five-point melee baddies. Hmm. For this battle, after your attack, you may move up to three positions. Ignore decks. Huh. So I can attack, move away. Most of the time, they can just move and hit me anyway. Two training points and a loot, though, off this one. Gotta succeed. So we're on day five. So if I do the first one, it'll be five one-point baddies. But I could reduce it by three. Hmm. The first three rounds are out of the bottom of the battle queue. Huh. I don't know. This is tough either way. So two five-point baddies. Or the first one, battle cube, baddie points. One point baddies only. I'll go with the first one. I will flare distraction. I'm going to reduce baddie points by three. I'll use this now. So if I somehow just beat them, take them off the board, and they come back, at least I'm only dealing with less baddies. So five baddie points minus three is only two one point baddies. So this should be a cakewalk. So here they are, two one-point baddies, and then for the first three rounds, they're out of the back, bottom of the battle queue. So let's, before the battle, start shield wall here. I have three defense dice I can roll, and we put two defense dice locked in the active slot. The bones don't get saved. Okay, so number one lane here. We have a three health, uh, kobold green thumb melee. Go in there, and he's coming in at four initiative. And the next one is a Troll Romper, Thick Skin, 1, and Careless for a backup plan ability. 3 health, 2 initiative, 1 attack. He's also melee, 3 health. Let's throw him up here. So this doesn't look bad at all. Uh, and next, he gets 2 initiative. All right, where am I going? 2. So I'm going between them. Then I will start on the hardy guy. Let's take him down. So he's going to take a while anyway. He's hardy, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I shouldn't have to worry about him dying in the first. Mm, he could die in round three if I attack him. Let's just go after this guy. Okay. Because I don't want to rush and kill one, right? Like, if I can make them both die in, like, round four, if I can survive that long... But I may have to kill one before that, but uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, so I think we're good to go. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So blue guy is going to move down. And he will attack with one attack die. Hits for one, knocks away a shield. Awesome. I will go. I will roll my stand ground. I will roll... Two defense, and let's do one attack on Troll Romper. All right, so I got the heal regen business. So the start of every turn going forward, as long as that's there in my lock slot, I'll be able to heal one damage. Um, I got a bones. I have a shield. And I got two attack, but thick skin, so it prevents one of those. So he loses one, goes down to two. Okay. And... Purple guy, 
He's rolling one attack on me. He gets a one, knocks away a shield. And on to round two. Uh, blue guy will go, roll one. Hits for two. Ooh. So I block one, I take one. And then at the start of my turn, I heal back up one to six. Yep. And now I can roll four decks. I can roll, let's roll three defense, uh, one attack. So I'm, I'm taking my time here. I'm going heavy on the defense. So maybe I can get some bones. Maybe I got my innate going. Maybe I can just, I don't know. That's really all I can try to do if I can max out my bones. Something that can carry forward, right? So... <laughs> Three one shields, which will keep me alive longer. I hit for one, but thick skin blocks it. So that's that. Uh, purple guy will go. He'll hit for one, two, which will knock away two of these. Uh, then round three, blue guy will go. Roll one. He gets a bones, misses. I will go. Don't need to heal. Nope. I will roll two attack. No, one attack. I don't want him to go away yet. So, and then I'll roll two defense. Actually, I'll roll three defense. I'll take that one back. All right, two bones. Sweet. One defense. Uh, maybe a little low. And one attack. Thick skin is blocked. Maybe I should have went after the hardy guy there. But anyways. Uh, purple guy will go. One attack. Bones. And that's a careless hit, so he goes down to one health. Okay, round four. So end round three, nobody in the batty queue to add backs, so that's fine. Uh, we're good. And this guy will go roll one. Uh, knocks away a shield. Okay, start of my turn, don't need to heal. I will go after... Let's go after thick skin guy, I'll roll two attack and two defense. All right, two attack, thick skin, and one health. Takes him out. And he'll go here. Okay. And two defense. Boom. Okay. Uh, next is round five. Blue guy will go. Roll one. He'll hit me for one, but one shield blocks. Start of my turn, no heal needed. I'll roll two attack, two defense, even though he's got a hardy. Uh, bones, shield, and hardy takes three, but reduces it to one. Okay, and now on to the fatigue rounds. So start of the round, we both lose a true damage. Cannot block it. Uh, this guy will go roll one attack on me. Whoops. <laughs> I think we're at five progress. Just knock the progress away. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So we're one away. Okay. Uh, what did that do? What was I doing? So we took our true down. He rolled one on me, but I did not see what that was, right? Uh, there we go. One attack. Uh, block. Start of my turn, I'll regenerate one health. I keep dropping stuff here. <laughs> good times, good times. All right, and then let's go and hmm, three defense. Maybe we'll get our innate ability going. No attack, because he'll die at the start of the next thing anyway. Or I can make sure I don't lose any health. Now nah, we're at four bones, let's try. Yes, we did it. So six bones, all spent. So we're going innate plus one. Da -da -da -da. So he goes to the star side here. Now he has shield wall plus, uh, what is it called? Oh, it's a gear lock wall or something. Yeah, gear lock wall. So innate plus one. In addition to shield wall benefits, Pickett may also put rolled defense dice, white dice only, in his lock slots, even during battle. Lock defense dice do not Reduce available defense dice, which is amazing. Never got that before. Or at least not a decent 
time into the uh, the whole adventure. Usually you get it late and it's like too late. You know, you already have a bunch of stuff in your lock slot. Uh, and then I get one defense. Okay, uh, that is me. Uh, fatigue round again. So true damage lost. That instantly ends it because this guy uh, lost his last health. So we don't get around to my turn so I can regen one. And we'll reset this. This guy will go here. I'll go back with five health. I'll lose this. Okay, reward phase, two training points in the loot. Let's check out the loot. Fortune discovery again. Uh huh. I'll just hold on to it. And if I need to grab gobby jerky again, I can do so. Uh, then progress, we're now at the needed progress to fight Nom, but I don't wanna go there yet. Two training points, let's try on attack. So two attack, I get it. So I go up to three attack dice. And let's just take a health. So we'll go up to seven health. And we'll take a health right away. We're at six right now. Okay. And we got the progress, got the treasure. Yeah, that is done. And that is one, two, three, four, five. Yes, that's day five. Makes sense. All right, day six. Uh, recovery phase, day five first. Hold up. Let's, you know what? Let's try to get some better loot. We're digging. We're digging for something to give true damage here or something like that. Uh, okay, so six attack dice. Give me bones. Give me bones. Uh, I don't see any bones. That sucks. So I just lose that treasure. Whoopsie. All right. Uh, okay, this goes back. All right, day six. Let's go to the next one. Can't grab it. There it is. All right. Just out of reach. I love rocky landscapes. Trouble is easy to spot, and it's a breeze to cover larger distances. Sparkling streams of fresh water are commonplace in the mountain of Daylor, and one of the land's few mercies on ill-prepared travelers. Up ahead, the narrow corridor I'm following suddenly opens uh, into a sunbathed canyon with a peaceful creek flowing just beyond. Such place would offer some much-needed resources, but odds of an ambush are high. If I waltz out into the open, I might be picked off before I can taste that cool mountain water. I might be able to scale this wall and find a higher pathway around, but that will take some time. I'm not sure I have. So the options here, brave the open air. So I can get a progress point I don't need and a training point, uh, which is baddie queue, baddie points, add two baddies to the battle queue. Oh, add two baddie points to the battle queue. Any range baddies are uh, start at the top of the meter. Okay, that sucks, but they're usually pretty high anyway. Uh, ready the ropes and climb. Even your high vantage point, you see that there was in fact an ambush set for you in this clearing payback time. So I can get an extra training point here. So it's like the same reward basically for me. Batty queue, batty points, add two batty points to the battle queue. Party has surprise and baddies cannot move during the first round. Yeah, I'll go that route. Why not? And I could get a training point. I don't need the progress, so just two training points is great and another loot. So let's do that. So baddie points are, we're at day six, so there's six for solo. So that means a five point and a one point, but then you add two more. So we're going to, it's actually eight. So we're gonna take a five and three ones. And let's start filling up. Oh, let's roll shield ball first, actually three defense dice. And we just get one defense, uh oh, two bones. All right, let's go the five. It is a thick skin one, inspire one on a on a uh, battle the uh, backup plan. So I'm trying to say six health, four initiative, two attack dice, one defense dice, and he's melee. So six health, that's huge. But he's the biggest guy on the board, so that's fine. And he goes there, and four. The next one pointer is a kobold tracker. Uh, he is ranged. He's going to be hiding in the back here. Two health. He has hardy, so one hit point per round, but then he has compound. His attack increases, matches basically the round number. And he is going at number six. Blah. Okay, next is an orc grunt. He has got rating, so he's looking for other orcs. We don't have any yet. Hopefully the next one we flip isn't an orc. This guy's melee, lane three, going at two, nice and low. And the last one, don't be an orc. 
It's an Orc Peon, come on. He's got Rage 1, so when he has less than 3 health, he's rolling 2 attack dice. 3, boom, boom, and it's going to lane 4. Coming in at 3 initiative. All right, so I roll mine, but I have a surprise. So I would go second to last, but party has surprise. So I will jump up to the top. And baddies cannot move during the first round. Hmm. So I have to worry about getting smashed by this two attack guy. Uh, so who goes first? Purple guy appears shooting me for one. Then next would be this guy hitting for two, but he can't move. So if I'm not near him, I'm fine, like not adjacent. So I don't want to rush up and attack this guy yet because then I get smashed by him and him. So you know what I should do is just try to take out one of these one point attack guys and their orcs. So if I take out one, the other one doesn't have raiding. So this guy's three health. But this guy's going to shield up. He's four. So let's try to take out this guy. So we'll start right in front of him. And then these guys don't move, so I don't have to worry about them. Okay. Uh, I attack first. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Got to take this guy out before this guy comes over and smashes me with an extra die. Okay, so start of the match. I will heal up to my seven because I get one off my locked regen die. Done. All right, next, uh, I will attack with three dice. Try to take this guy out one shot, be sweet, so I don't take an attack back. And then I will roll one defense. Anything else? No. Okay, wow. Four attack, he is gone. And that is him out. Get out of my initiative meter. All right. Boom, Orc Peon done. Okay, next, anything else I have to do on my turn still? No, uh, just bones. Okay, purple guy next, he'll just be rolling one. He's ranged, doesn't need to move to get adjacent to me. And it's a one, we'll knock away my shield. All right, this four guy can't get close to me, but he does have a defense. So he'll still roll his defensive dice. Wow, gets a two. So two defense, thick skin. Did he roll a bones? No, he didn't, obviously. He didn't roll any attack dice. Yeah, he would get Inspire 1, which will make the next guy in the queue go right away and get an extra attack die, but it doesn't really matter. So this guy's not going to move either. He will just roll a defense die. And he gets one defense. So they're ready to go for battle with their defense. All right, round two. Now they can move. So I'll go first. Uh, I don't need to heal. Uh, so let's go with, hmm, two decks, and that leaves two left. I'll roll one defense and one attack. Uh, or, yeah, let's do that. All right, one defense, one attack, takes this guy down. And that is that. So number six will go, this guy right here. Uh, he'll shoot for two now, because it's round two. He's got compound. So two, one gets blocked, and one gets through. Okay, number four, he'll move two over, roll two attack die, gets a bones, which is inspire, so we'll do that in a sec. So he takes off a health with one attack. Okay, inspire means the next guy goes uh, with one extra attack die. But there's nowhere for him to get to adjacent to me and attack, so he's just going to stay where he is, actually. Uh, he doesn't need to roll his defense. It's already locked. So round three. 
Uh, I'll go first. I'll regen a health up to six out of seven. All right, let's roll. I want to take out the kobold guy right next to me. So let's roll. Let's get risky. Three defense, one attack, attacking kobold tracker. So I got the one attack I needed. Sweet, he's gone. So I don't have to deal with his attack three from compound this round, which is nice. Uh, let's see, then I got a bones, and I got two defense. All right, this guy's going. He'll roll two attack dice, his defense is already locked. Uh, he'll just hit for one, uh, I block it with a shield. He'll inspire the next guy, goes right away, gets an extra attack die. But he can't get adjacent to me, so that doesn't matter, he already has his defense locked, so he doesn't need to roll. And his rating's now turned off, so no other orc, so I need to remember that. Okay, round four. I will go first. I heal up one to my seven. I will roll. I start getting through some thick skin, I think. Let's go to attack. Actually, no, we're going to go three defense. Uh, do we? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm not putting these in my defense slot. That's where they should be going because I have the innate plus one. So I still have my full defense then if that's the case. So I'll roll three defense. Uh, let's roll three defense, one attack. Yep. Attacking the troll sage. Okay, so I hit him for one. Defense die first. And I get three defense. So let's put this here. And these here. Okay. Uh, do I shield bash? Shield bash for four. Two of it would get blocked, one from the shield, one from thick skin. No, we'll just stay defensive for now. And then he'll go to attack. Hit me for three. One, two, three. Don't take any damage. And that is that. And this guy gets in the party now. Moves up one, he'll attack with one die, hits for one, that gets blocked. <laughs> All my defense guys gone, just like that. Uh, round five, one away from fatigue. Uh, regen, don't need to do. Let's try to take out the orc grunt. I think. Yeah, let's do orc grunt. So let's go three attack. Mm. Let's do two attack, two defense. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, one attack, knocks that away. Bones. And, oh, two, two defense dice. That's great. All right. Four is the blue guy. He'll roll two attack die on me. Oh, oh wow. Four. Uh, that just knocks away my two beautiful two shields I just got. Uh, okay. And then this guy will go rolling one. And that actually gets through. So I take a health away. Round six. Fatigue rounds begin. So we all take a true damage that we cannot block. And I'll go first. I'll regenerate one health to start my turn. And now it's time to try to outlast these fools. All right, I'm gonna roll three defense dice and one attack and hit this guy. All right, 
three defense die. One attack. Did I forget to roll his defense die? Did I forget to roll his defense die? I think I may have, but he would have got bones. And that does nothing. Okay, so still good, still good. Uh, blue is going to go with two attack. And he gets two. Uh, shield is block. And this little yellow guy is going to roll one and one. So one attack uh, gets blocked, and he gets a defense. All right, next round, uh, true damage. Then start of my turn, I regen one. Okay, uh, let's go three defense. No, let's start attacking this guy. Let's roll three attack, one defense. All right, two bones. One defense, one attack, knocks this away. What do we do here? What do we do? I could shield shock him. No, let's go benevolence, I think. I'm at six health. Yeah, let's spend four. We'll do benevolence, so I'll get two HP, but only one up to my max. And then I will get a two valued defense dice locked in there. And that is that. Uh, and this guy will go roll two attack, one defense. Uh, he gets a bones, which inspires this guy. Uh, one defense and one attack, which knocks this away. And the next guy will go rolling two attack dice because he's been inspired. And that's two, which just knocks this away. All right, next round, uh, true damage takes this guy out. Say one pointer, gone. Okay, and a true damage here, and a true damage here. But then I will regen, start a turn. Okay. Uh, then let's just go to town on this guy. So three attack dice and one defense. Oh, Bone City. Four bones, two attack. So defense and thick skin prevents that. But I'm going to do... Uh, should I? Yeah, let's do the benevolence thing again. I don't need to heal, but I'm just going to do it to get a two defense dice locked in there. Then he will go. Roll two attack, one defense. Uh, bones, nobody to inspire. Three attack though, two gets blocked, one gets through. Okay, start of the next round, true damage. I get one back. And sorry, he is down to two health. All right, I'll go first. I already regen, and that's six. Let's go three attack, one defense. Man, bones all over the place. So thick skin blocks the hit. And three bones locked in. All right. Uh, he'll go. Two attack, one defense. Uh, he gets two defense. A bone, nobody to inspire. And one attack actually goes through. Okay, next round. Uh, I'll lose one for true damage. Get one back at the start of my turn. He'll lose a true damage. Goes down to one health. Um, you know what? I'm just going to outlast the guy. Uh, I'd like to regen, but if I can get a bone, that'd be good. So let's do two attack, two defense. Okay, there's the bone, uh, which I will spend to get two HP. Going to full health, I'll lock a, so these are all spent, but it gets me benevolence again, two die locked in there. And 
Uh, one defense, goes in my lock slot. And two attack, just knocking away the defense. Okay, he'll go, rolling two attack, one defense. Uh, one attack, knocks this shield away. Bones don't matter. Start of next round, he dies, true damage. And that is the battle. And then I take a true damage. And that is the end. So I go back home with six health out of seven, not too shabby. Go to round one, reset. Let's go to reward phase and see what we get. All right, so two training points and a loot. Let's check out the loot. Mixed berry, single use. Heal yourself three HP in battle or five out. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I'll zoom this over a bit. And then next is two training points. What can we do against Nom? Let's try to increase our attack. Okay, and... So I have three defense, three attack. Let's take dex up to five. Okay. That is gone. Uh, recovery phase. Hmm. Let's hunt for better loot again. Yeah, let's get something for Nom. All right. Six dice. Looking for bones. One bone. What do we get? Multi-tool. Come on. All right. So that just, uh, during anyone's lockpick attempt, add one to an action die result. You can use it three times. Be great if I cared about troll loot right now, but I do not on this playthrough. That is for sure. Okay, uh, let's see here. Day seven. Do I do Nom yet? No, let's do an encounter. Hopefully it doesn't set me back. It only helps me get better. It is a trap of my own making. Love this one, I think. It's the same one. Too big and too many. I could never overpower to outrun them. Either this works or my journey ends before the sun sets. The plan? Be my own bait. Yes. What could possibly go wrong? The trap is set as the golden sun is beginning to sink which I pray helps obscure my hasty work of covering the freshly excavated pit. Now I no just need to scratch like a wounding, wounded griffin. Screech like a wounded griffin. Oh, man. I hope they don't simply jump over the trap before tearing me from limb to limb so I can be the bait, or I shouldn't be the bait, and I just kind of fight around my spikes. So, both combat, so no advantage there. For the first one, two five-point baddies. Uh, as baddies enter the battle mat, roll a d6. One to two, trap does nothing. Three to six, baddie is stunned for the first two rounds. Uh, the other one, which I like the best, is two five-point baddies. I have surprise, and baddies take one two true damage anytime they move to a new position on the battle map, including the initial position. So this is important. We got to get these two training points before going to fight Nom, which would be great. Okay, let's do it. Okay, two five-point baddies. Don't know what they are. There we go. I have surprise, so I'll be at the start. I'll just put myself up there. And let's see, you've got Thick Skin, Taunt, Troll, Enforcer, rolling three attack die, two defense, five health, but that's not good. Okay, and he's going at two, so he's slow, great. Then the next guy is a raiding. Uh, we don't have another orc, so that's great. Uh, six health though, wow. And this guy is melee, three attack dice, two defense, same thing. I need to run around the mat and not get hit by these guys. Uh, let's do four on this guy. So he goes first. Okay, so I have surprise, and they take one true damage anytime they move to a new position on the battle mat, including initial position. Okay. Oh, man. All right, where do I start here? Well, let's start somewhere that makes them move and somewhere that I won't get attacked by both. Oh, shield, or gear lock wall. In addition to shield wall, the picket may also put rolled defense dice in his lock slot even during battle. Okay, let's just make sure I was using that right. Okay, uh, so I have three defense. And this locked one doesn't count towards my defense dice. Nice, let's lock this two in. And this one over here. 
And one bones is lost. So I have five defense ready to start. That's good. Uh, and only one of my dice is in the active slot, so I still can roll two defense. So I am going to go, who's the worst? Maybe I can take this guy out first. He's got thick skin though, which may make him last longer actually. Hmm. But letting them go first, they move, they take a true damage. Huh. Should took. Maybe I can roll the feet on one of these, would be great. Yeah, let's try that. All right. Uh, okay, super risky. I'm going to go here. I'm going to try to roll these feet so I can move away on this die. But I mean, probably won't get it. Maybe I'm going to do over though if I get three bones or something. I don't know. We'll see. It's super risky. Uh, and what am I at here? Six out of seven health. So I think we're good to go. So I go first. I have a surprise. I'm going first. Yep. So I'll regen at the start of my turn. Then I will roll this die. Let's roll two defense. Try to get some bones. And let's roll two attack on this guy right here. So I got the attack plus one. I mean, that's <laughs> it's good to get, I guess, but I'm actually not gonna take it. Uh, or should I? Yeah, I should. So I gotta knock one of these out of my lock slot. I should have left the one in there. So I get plus one attack, which is the only attack I got there, but it does take him one down. And two defense dice, two bones. Shield bash is a thing, which could be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that would take him out. So I'm going to do that actually. Spend two, shield bash for five. And there's no reason why that wouldn't work, right? Nope, he hasn't rolled any defense yet. So boom, he's gone. So now I won't get hit by two of them like I thought might have happened if I didn't roll feet. Uh, so we're good. Boom. And a five point baddie, turn one, suck it. All right, nothing else to do on my turn, nope. This guy's gonna go, he'll move one. He'll roll three attack dice, two defense. I have no defense right now, so that is risky business, but three attack he rolled. So I lose three down to four health. He now gets three defense, also has thick skin. And we'll go to round two. I'll regen one. Okay. Now I gotta play defensive here. So three defense dice, two attack dice, and let's go for them. All right, so we got, let's lock that in there. Put that there. Two attack just knocks away one of his shields. Actually three attack total because of this lock die. So I forget that. Uh, so that's gone. Two bones. Shield bash ready. Three. No, he still has five health. So I'll just hold that defensively. Try to stay alive, get some health back. He'll go. Three attack dice, two defense. So getting rid of those defense dice is kind of pointless. So will just roll some more here. And he, but he only gets two this time. But four attack. Uh, so I'll lose the three. Lose one health. Round three. Start of my turn. Regen one. Roll three defense, two attack. I'm gonna get the right dice here. Attacking this guy, obviously. All right, so a bunch of defense. Uh, bones, uh, one at two attack total, so these will go away. Uh, shield bash, still not ready. I can do four, take him down to one. But I'm still not getting any damage through. Uh, I'll leave it defensively and hope to just stay alive. So he's going to go. Three attack, two defense. We're in kind of like a standoff here. Uh, which this is what I picture kind of happening with Nom. We'll see. 
So he hits a little less, I think. So this guy, <laughs> three defense, uh, two attack, and the bones does taunt. I may have been forgetting that. It does not matter though, because I only have the one enemy, so I'll just leave it, but um, three attack. So he'll take away these and this. Round four, I'll go first, regen, up to six. I will then roll three at defense, two attack. All right, Bone City, wow. Uh, let's decide how we want to do this. Let's do it like this. Let's go. We'll do two in here. Uh, we'll spend the five to shield bash him for one. That just takes this away. But I stun him for a round. Where is the stun die? Oh, there it is. So he's stunned for a turn, so he won't go. Um, two attack, it's three total, so that's thick skin gone, and his defense, and then just two bones, so didn't really do much, but he's stunned, so he won't roll defense dice for the next turn, and won't roll attacks on me, so he'll go, nothing happens, I take that away, round five, I go, I heal one, up to seven, which is my max, then... Three defense, two attack. Yep. All right. Uh, so four attack total. So three off the die here, plus one here. So thick skin. But three goes through. Takes him down to two. Okay, that's gone. Uh, and then we get three defense in there. Let's uh, shield bash him in the face before he rolls defense. Uh, so that's three, and that is enough to kill him. Boom. So that feels good. Uh, did he take true damage from moving? Totally forgot. Totally forgot. You were right. So, but anyways, that would have just had him down there. Yeah, that would just made him. I still overkilled him there, so he would have had the one left. Yeah, I don't think it made a difference, but you're right. I should have should have done that when he moved. Totally forgot about that part. Thank you, Kovia. Uh, all right. And he is gone. Round one reset. I go home with full health. Feels good. Uh, okay, so loot. Show me something good. Treasure Trove Map. Ooh, what's this do? Single use. Shuffle special encounter in the Ebonite Doorway. Of course I shuffle it in now. When I only have the one day left, I have to go fight the tyrant. Uh, is, if it's not already been completed. Yeah, I'm not even going to do it. But anyways. <laughs> he is gone. Alright. Uh, next. Two training points. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to try... Another defense. I missed there, but I get to reroll the bones once. Yes, we're good. So we go up to four defense. And I think I want to take a skill die. But, like, I want to get those feet going, would be awesome. Plus one defense. No. Oh, this die sucks. Uh, or I do the rush that I was talking about before so I can move around, but only it's like it's one move. You know what? Let's just go. So three set. Let's just go to six decks. So I can roll six dice. So I have four defense total, three attack I can be rolling. 
I don't need to roll these skills. It's weird, but they're going a health, but I think rolling extra defense is where it's at. Uh, okay. That is done. So recovery phase. I'm actually going to toss one last time, try to get some better loot. Six attack die. Come on, give me some poisoning thingy or something that I can use on Nom. Well, three loot to look at here. That's juicy. Best I've ever seen. One, two, ooh, throwing axe. That sounds good. Oh, got herbs. Okay, so I can three times heal myself for one HP in battle. Okay, that's pretty good. Throwing axe, two uses. During your turn, roll one attack die and deal its damage to any unit on the battle mat. Uh, that's useless against Noms. He's got thick skin. During your turn, roll one attack die, deals damage to any unit. Actually, that can be used during my turn on top of my attacks I'm already doing. Because the thick skin is, he stops the first three damage I do to him per turn. And then I have outside of battle, permanent heal your health, increase your health stat die by one, but at the start of your next battle, reduce your HP by three. Not doing that because this is my last one and only attempt on Nom. So I will not take that one. So it's between healing myself or throwing axe. I think I'm going to go more aggressive and use the throwing axes twice. I can even use it on the same turn. does not cost dex. doesn't say I can't use it twice on a turn. And I don't think there is a limit that I know of. If you know in the chat, anybody, if I can double tick. I'm pretty sure you can because I can like lock picking attempts. I think you can use like the thing three times to jack up your, your lock value or your lock picking attempt. I think during my turn I can roll two attack dice, just use this twice. But maybe I'll just use it separate, just so I don't yeah, risk doing a rule wrong. But if you're watching this in the future on YouTube, if you can leave it down in the comments below if you know the answer to that question, that'd be awesome. Okay, uh, let's go on to day eight. Coming for you, Nom. Here we go, let's do this. So these are gone. Okay, let's bring this die in here. So we're clubbing with Nom. Uh, so we just add Nom to the board. No bad EQ with solo play, I guess. Six health, lane one. Thick skin, recover. One health, or one attack, one defense. Rolls his timer die return. He can move diagonally, six health, two uh, initiative. We'll throw him in there. So I should get to go before him. Okay, and here's a stupid die. All right, so. Thick skin ignores the first three damage you would take each turn, does not ignore true damage. Recover one, so every turn he'll get one HP up to max, so just like I'm doing too. Uh, Tyrant die. Om nom. All defense dice are removed from target before applying damage. Uh, yeah, okay. And then Thunderclub, after his attack, he'll knock me the furthest position away from his current position on the battle mat and deal one true damage. So let's not forget that. Okay, uh, then I will uh, shield wall four defense dice now. Nice. Locked. Boom, boom. And no bones. Okay, and where am I going? Three. Go above him. And there's no reason to hide on the other side of the map. So let's just... Let's just take a whack at Nom. All right, start of the turn. Don't think I need to heal up. Yep, I'm already at seven. All right. Let's do this, okay. I know I can need to outlast him, but he, got, he has recover one, so even when he gets to the fatigue rounds, we play a stupid game where we both just keep healing up one. So hopefully I can just, uh, but he doesn't recover till the start of his turn, neither do I. So if I can just be like one HP ahead of him, then he'll, I'll lose the true damage. And if he loses the last true damage, that's fine. Because it happens before it gets to him. So if I can get him down to one, that'd be great before the fatigue rounds. Okay. Let's go. And I have Gobby Jerky. Got to remember that. I have throwing axes, two uses. So I'm going to use one here. So I get to roll one extra attack die. 
Okay. Uh, that doesn't count towards my six decks. I'll roll all three attack. I have two defense dice locked, so I can roll two more. Uh, I'll take one of them out, actually. So I can roll all six die plus a battle axe. Okay. Here we go. Behemoth against behemoth. Let's do this. All right. Two double defense, which is great. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, one bones. Okay, attack is this attack die plus four more. So that is five total. Six in three, so two gets through. Not a bad start, I'd say. <laughs> we'll see what happens on his turn, though. Uh, nothing else I need to do there. I can't shield bash him, which would be amazing right now. But he's going to knock away a bunch of these juicy two shields. Oh, if I could only got one more bones there. Boom. Would have wrecked him. Would have wrecked him. All right. Okay. So he will go. One attack. One defense. Stupid tyrant die. Anything else? All right. He's just going to try to attack me. All right. One hit. Take away a shield. Two defense. Then the Thunderclub. After his attack knocks me to the furthest point, which is this corner here. All right. Uh, then new round. Okay, I'll go. No heal, no health regen. Uh, I'll use this up. So my last axe, which gives me an extra die here, on top of my. Actually, you know what? Let's not use that because I don't think it matters. Hold on. Let's just count the dice here. So I have six decks. I can roll three attack. I have two defense dice locked, so I can roll two defense die. And I'm dexed out. I guess it still makes sense to use it, right? It's still an extra attack die. Yeah, let's use it. So there's my battle axe in there. I know you're probably supposed to do it separate, but I'm just doing it on the same baddie anyway, so. Okay. Bones. Bones. Attack is a total of one plus four more is another five hit. So that's defense and three thick skin gone. I forgot to recover on his turn, actually. So he would have recovered one. Okay, so we'll get that before we forget. Uh, so that was the attack. Take away his thick skin and his defense. I roll another defense. And now, whoops, I think it's... What am I doing? I'm not even beside him. Oh, my. Oh, my. I forgot about the Thunder Club. I'm blanking out here. Undo, undo. That didn't happen. All right. Yeah. So that's what I was at, all these twos, one bones, right? Okay, let's try again being beside him. Um, and I attacked without him moving to me. So he could have moved diagonally. I'm not with it. So he would have been there. Oh, he would have been beside me, right? Because he would have had to move. Yeah, why? I, I don't get it. Okay, sorry, let's redo all that. So it was... Bones, bones, bones. Okay. So I took away his defense. I took away his thick skin. Yeah, he's adjacent to me because he would have moved to me, right? After he... Th oh, no, he thunderclubbed me away. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, I'll get with it here. So he has... He's still up here. He had two defense on him. Okay. 
I stay where I am. What do I do? I just should do, so I don't need to regen. I have six decks if I want it. I only have two defense dice spared. So I can just roll two defense. I hope to get bones. I can't attack him. I can move to him. But what does that achieve when he'll just move to me next round? So yeah, I'll just stay where I am. Two defense die. Yep, just two defense die. Oh wow, rolling twos like crazy here. So I'll just put one up there and one gets lost. It's home for a bones at least there, but hoping to miss, damn. Uh, <laughs> and that is my turn. Now him, he'll do that diagonal movement. Okay, I think we got it. Uh, he'll roll this, he'll roll one attack, his defense is already there. Oh, he recovers one if he needs to. Yes, he does. So he's back up to full health. Yeah, this is why I should have ran at him and hit him, but I wouldn't have had any dice to really do it with. All right. So he attacks for one. We'll down tick this. He does all defense dice are removed before applying damage. Whoops. I, so that is sucky. <laughs> oh, the locked one he won't. I don't think. Knock the target. Uh, all defense dice are removed from target. Yeah, I'm assuming, yeah, I will get rid of the locked one too, I'm sure. I could be wrong. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is not going good. That's not good. Uh, then he hits me for one. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, take my ax back? Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Undo that, yes, because I couldn't have, yeah, I wouldn't have thrown the axe if I couldn't do a bunch of hits with it because it just would get lost with the defense or the thick skin. Thank you. Okay, we got there. That's gone. All right, round three, start of my turn. I'll heal up one, back to full health. Okay, it's beside me now. I have one bones. That extra attack. Okay. Let's go. Three attack. I have six decks. Three attack, three defense. And I'll roll the axe. I'll get rid of the axe this time and add a die. So here we go. Okay. So let's do a bones over here first. Two defense. Okay. I got four attack plus one over here is five. So that's defense plus thick skin gone. <laughs> oh man. And I'll shield bash him for two. Okay. Done. He'll go his turn, he'll recover one. And he'll roll one attack, one defense, and his die. Okay, Thunder Club. So first he has no attack, but he does get a defense. He knocks me all the way to this side of the board. Uh, and we recovered one, yes, okay. Round four, I'll go. Six decks, eh? One, two, three, four, just to get to him. No, nope. I'll just roll defense dice. Four defense. But I can move actually closer. I want to move closer to him. Uh, so I have six decks, so I can roll four defense. So let's just move two. Okay, make it easier for him to get to me. There's no other reason why to roll any other dice. Yep. All right, two bones. And we get some defense. Actually, let's put it this way. Okay. 
he will go recover one back up to full health. And he will move diagonally here, let's say. He'll roll this and one attack. Uh, so he hits for one, which just knocks this shield away. And then Thunderclub is, uh, I guess, this spot. Okay, uh, round five, start of my turn, don't need to heal. Uh, let's use three decks, one, two, three, so I have three left. Let's roll three attack dice. All right, so we got four on the roll, plus one is five. So that's one defense, three thick skin, takes away one. Okay, then I will shield bash him for two more. Down to three. Okay, that is good. That's me, then he'll go recover one. Roll one attack, one defense, and his die. So Bone City. Uh, but then he thunder clubs me again. Oh man. So fatigue rounds. Uh, we both take a true damage. Start of my turn. I'll recover one. I'll use three decks again. <laughs> uh, okay. Then I'll roll... Uh, no, you know what? No decks. I'll just roll. Yeah, he can just move diagonal and gets me anyway. Let's just roll four defense. Two bones, perfect. But if he gets that stupid thing where he knocks my defense dice away, that's going to suck. Oops. But this with an attack would be great. All right, he'll go. Diagonal one. Uh, recover. Uh, one attack, one defense. Yeah, I got it. So he'll defend. Bones miss. And he'll knock away my defense die before he attacks. Okay, but at least he's with me. So true damage at the start of the round. Uh, I'll heal up one on my turn, and let's roll my three attack, two defense, yeah, three attack, two defense, all right, two bones, uh, attack is actually two, so it knocks this away and gets rid of one thick skin, so he's got two thick skin left. I will then shield bash for two bones and hitting him for three. So two of that is thick skin and two of that is health. Wait, I said three, right? So two hit thick skin, one health. Right, yes. Okay. Then he will go heal back up to three, uh, and then roll his die, one attack, one defense, uh, he'll knock away my defense, which I don't have, he'll miss on the attack, and he'll get one defense, great, all right, uh, then we'll lose a true damage, I'll heal up at the start of my turn, uh, then... Three attack, three defense. All right, so we got some defense there, four defense. We got three attack here, plus one for my lock die is four. So that is the defense plus all the thick skin is gone. I'll shield bash him for four and finish him off. Boo yeah, feels good. 
So I won. I beat Nom with Picket solo. That is awesome. That feels good. I had trouble sleeping last night after he killed Tantrum. Not even killed Tantrum. I didn't even make it to the guy. It was just the worst run ever. <laughs> but yeah, Nom is tough. First one I ever played. Didn't know any better. We opened the box, saw Nom, thought, oh, he's short. Let's learn this game with him. Thanks, Kovia. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, uh, my wife and I pulled it out of the box. We're like, yeah, this is the shortest one. Let's let's learn the game, play against Nom. Yeah, that was stupid because uh, he's actually really tough. And you didn't realize like the shorter the, the adventure, uh, the tougher it can be because you don't get to level up your guys enough, right? Uh, and yes, he's defeated. All right, sweet. That was awesome. All right, thanks a lot for watching and watching me crush Nom there. That's great. Uh, if you want to see any other videos of our runs here of Too Many Bones, you can check them out at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. Uh, and if you want to watch these live with us, you can check us out uh, at twitch.tv forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. The link is in the description below. If you'd like to support the channel, you can donate over on Patreon. Thanks to everyone that supports the channel there. Without you guys, it wouldn't be happening. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, please subscribe. Hit that like button to help other people uh, find these Too Many Bones videos. I love playing this game for you guys. So if you want more of it, hit that like button. That'd be great. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.